Good morning, everybody. Um, so today for English, we're gonna be learning about two-letter blends. Okay. Um, for this term, we're gonna be doing all of these blends as well as three-letter blends. Remember that uh, blends just mean like it's two letters next to each other, but they make one sound. And with the three-letter blends, it's gonna be three sounds next to each other. Three letters, sorry but it's going to be one sound, okay? So like this, you don't say b, -h, you say b. It makes one sound, okay? I'm just going to go through with them. And um, today we're just going to be focusing on this top row, the ones that have the l scene, okay? So as I'm saying them, please say them with me. And every day you need to say these sounds, and it's important to say it to say it out loud to yourself or to somebody, okay? So this is b, k, f, g, p, s, b, r, k, r, d, r, f, r, k, r, p, r, t, r, s, s, w, Sk, sn, st, sk. And then we've done these. It's ch, sh, f, w. Okay. So those are the sounds. Please um, write this out. And you need to go through these sounds every day. Um, but for this week and for today, sorry, we're going to be focusing on the top row the, today so here we have um, I've given you some pictures and the, there's a machine blend here and it's the the ones from the top row so it's it's only gonna be from these ones um, that fit in here okay and so I've given you pictures and this is the end of the word and you must choose which r the blend which blend goes in here and look at the pictures so that you make sure that it's the right one okay i um, hope you can see all of these pictures properly that is a color that is what we use um, when we're doing art that's a hand doing something with a coin what is it doing um this is what's that yeah, I gave you one already. <laughs> um, and I think the others are all pretty easy. Oh, sorry, this is clouds. And that's birds. And when, you know, when birds fly away, um, you say a word. Okay? And these are two boys doing something together. And this is some um, something that you drink out of. Um, this is at school. And what is this, okay? So, yeah, that should be it. That's a mouth. It's doing something. Um, but, yeah, that should be it. Okay. Um, let's just go on to creative handwriting. So, to, so for um, this week, we're going to be focusing on some punctuation. Um, and we've done this before last term. So... You should remember that we did the capital letter, the full stop, question mark, comma, and exclamation mark. I'm, I gave you some examples here to explain. Um, I'm just going to do a recap, meaning I'm just going to do it again so that you remember. Okay. Capital letter um, here is South Africa. It's the name of a country. So the S and the A is in capital letters. Then full stop is also a long pause. So when I'm reading it, I just take a pause, but like a long pause, okay? And it's at the end of a sentence. I eat cake. That's the easy one. Question mark. It's for when you're asking a question. Um, so here's my question. Do you want cake? And at the end of it, I put a question mark because I'm asking something. That means someone must say something back. Okay, that's asking something. Then we have comma. 
um, it's a short pause, not a long pause, a short pause. But it's also when you write in a sentence and you want to write of a list of things, lists, okay, lists of things. So here's my sentence. I'm going to the shop. I mean, sorry, I'm, I'm telling you what I like. I'm giving you a list of things I like. So I will say, I like cake, comma, juice, comma, chips, and sweets. Remember I told you? The comma and and cannot go together. Okay, so you can't put a comma there and say and. Alright, and comes just before the last thing in your list. So my last thing was sweets and just before I put my last thing, I put the word and. Okay, so you always do that. And then exclamation mark. Exclamation mark is, is it just tells you. Um, how you feel about something or when you say something with meaning so if I say to you sit down now I'm saying it with a lot of meaning it means you must sit down now it's a command okay for commands you also use exclamation marks like go away or sit down um, or come here okay and it can also be used like for your feelings I am so hurt exclamation mark Okay, it's when you say something with meaning. Okay, um, I'm just going to go over two, um, question, two punctuation with you. And just in more depth and then we will move on to handwriting. So just going to go speak about it a little bit more in the next video.